Did you know that something as small as a grape could send your dog straight to the emergency vet? Or that a single piece of gum could be deadly? Today, we're diving into a topic that could save your dog's life. We're talking about 13 common foods that are dangerous, sometimes even deadly, for dogs. Whether you're a first-time dog owner or a seasoned pro, some of these might surprise you. Dogs are curious creatures, and let's face it, they'll eat just about anything if they get the chance. But it's up to us to keep them safe. In this video, I'll break down each of these foods, explain why they're harmful. Let's get into it. Let's kick things off with one of the most well-known dog dangers, chocolate. But why exactly is chocolate so bad for dogs? It all comes down to two compounds, theobromine and caffeine. Both of these substances act as stimulants, and while our bodies can handle them just fine, dogs process them much more slowly. This slow breakdown allows toxic levels to build up quickly, especially in smaller breeds. The darker the chocolate, the more theobromine it contains, making baker's chocolate and dark chocolate particularly dangerous. Even a small piece can cause serious problems. And it's not just chocolate bars, cocoa powder, chocolate chips, and even desserts like brownies are all potential hazards. What can happen? Mild cases, vomiting, diarrhea, and restlessness. Severe cases, tremors, rapid heart rate, seizures, or even heart failure. If your dog eats chocolate, call your vet immediately, especially if you're unsure how much they ate. Don't wait for symptoms to appear. They can escalate quickly. Moving on to a surprisingly toxic fruit, grapes and raisins. These seem innocent, right? But for dogs, they're a serious danger. The exact toxin in grapes and raisins isn't well understood, but what we do know is that even small amounts can cause acute kidney failure. And get this, just a single grape or a small handful of raisins could be enough to trigger a severe reaction, especially in smaller dogs. Early warning signs. Vomiting within a few hours of ingestion, lethargy and unusual weakness, loss of appetite and dehydration. As kidney failure progresses, you might notice your dog drinking less, urinating less, or not urinating at all. This is a life-threatening condition. So if your dog ever eats grapes or raisins, head to the vet ASAP, even if they seem fine at first. Next up, onions and garlic. These are staples in most kitchens but they're terrible for dogs. They belong to the allium family of vegetables, which also includes leeks, chives, and shallots. All of these contain thiosulfates, which can destroy your dog's red blood cells, leading to a condition called hemolytic anemia. What's scary about onions and garlic is that the toxic effects can be cumulative. This means even small amounts, consumed over time, can build up in your dog's system and cause problems. And it doesn't matter if they're raw, cooked, or powdered. All forms are dangerous. Signs of trouble. Fatigue and weakness. Pale gums, a sign of anemia. Increased heart rate and rapid breathing. Dark-colored urine. If your dog eats anything seasoned with onions or garlic, like leftover stew, pizza crust, or even baby food, call your vet. Early intervention can make a big difference. Now let's talk about a sneaky one, xylitol. This artificial sweetener is popping up everywhere these days, from sugar-free gum to certain peanut butters. It's great for humans trying to cut back on sugar, but for dogs, it's a silent killer. Here's what happens. When a dog eats xylitol, their body mistakes it for real sugar and releases a ton of insulin. This causes their blood sugar to drop dangerously low, a condition called hypoglycemia. If left untreated, Xylitol can also lead to liver failure and even death. What to look for? Vomiting and loss of coordination within 30 minutes to an hour. Sudden weakness or collapse. Seizures in severe cases. Always check ingredient labels, especially on sugar-free products. If you suspect your dog has eaten something with xylitol, treat it as an emergency and head to the vet immediately. If you find this video helpful and informative, Please support the Healthy Pantry channel by leaving your comment below, liking this video, and subscribing for more daily health and nutrition tips. Moreover, it might sound obvious, but alcohol is incredibly dangerous for dogs. Even small amounts of beer, wine, or liquor can have a toxic effect. 
dogs are much more sensitive to ethanol, the active ingredient in alcohol, than we are, and their smaller size means it takes less to cause severe harm. But alcohol isn't just in drinks. It can also be found in fermented foods, certain desserts, and even raw bread dough. Signs of alcohol poisoning in dogs. Vomiting and diarrhea. Disorientation or difficulty walking. Slowed breathing and heart rate. In severe cases, coma or death. If your dog ever gets into alcohol, time is of the essence. The sooner you act, the better their chances of recovery. But wait, there is more. You might love avocado toast, but your dog should definitely skip this trendy snack. Avocados contain a substance called persin, which is mildly toxic to dogs. While the flesh of the avocado contains only small amounts of persin, the pit is a serious choking hazard and could cause a dangerous intestinal blockage if swallowed. What can go wrong? Vomiting and diarrhea are the most common symptoms. Difficulty breathing if your dog chokes on the pit. Abdominal pain and bloating if a blockage occurs. To be safe, keep avocados and any dishes containing them out of your dog's reach. Finally, this one's a bit more niche, but still crucial to know about. Macadamia nuts. These nuts are a popular addition to cookies and trail mixes, but for dogs, they're incredibly toxic. Even a small amount, like a single nut, can cause serious issues particularly affecting their nervous system. Symptoms usually appear within 12 hours. Weakness, especially in the back legs. Vomiting and tremors. Fever and lethargy. The good news? Most dogs recover within 48 hours with prompt veterinary care. But still, it's best to keep these snacks far away from your pup. Lastly, let's talk about a common misconception. Bones are great for dogs, right? Well not all bones. While raw bones can be safe under supervision, cooked bones are a whole different story. When bones are cooked, they become brittle and can easily splinter into sharp pieces. These fragments can cause serious internal injuries. Possible complications. Choking or airway blockage. Cuts and punctures in the mouth or throat. Perforated intestines, leading to life-threatening infections. If you want to treat your dog to a bone, stick to raw bones specifically prepared for dogs, or opt for synthetic chew toys. So, what should you do if your dog eats something dangerous? The key is to act quickly. Call your vet immediately, or reach out to a 24-7 animal poison control hotline. Some of these toxic foods can cause irreversible damage within hours, so time is of the essence. There you have it, folks. 13 foods that could seriously harm your dog. Some of these are well-known dangers, while others might have been a total surprise. Either way, keeping these foods far away from your furry friend is one of the best ways to keep them healthy and happy. If you found this guide helpful, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and share it with other dog owners. Together, we can make sure every dog stays safe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for joining us here at the Healthy Pantry. We hope you found the information valuable and inspiring. Remember your health is a journey, and we are here to guide you every step of the way. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.